Greetings, everyone. Looney Farm Guy here with the new mod test for Tuesday, June the July the fifth. July. Uh, this is the plastered cow shed by Gracus and Philip. Eighteen point nine five megabytes to download. Uh, Thirty three slots on console, but there is quite a bit going on here. So uh, bear with me. Uh, this is for all platforms. And, well, it's a cow barn. It holds uh, 16 cows. 16 cows, yes. And you will find it under animals and cows, of course. And there it is at the end, $50,000. Now, kind of an odd thing. It kind of spins on the corner. So if you're trying to get a, a look at it and close up, it's kind of like, okay, that's good. But here, I can't. you can't really. So just... Just so you know that. However, uh, it didn't have any problem getting placed down or anything like that. Uh, there isn't any color options or anything like that. Right, so we have quite a number of doors uh, that open and close. A quick look around. This uh, appears to be your milk um, a loading area. We will test that. This is your animal purchase area, your trigger. Around the side here, it appears to be the slurry. We will test that as well. And there's an upper loft. Now, let's start over here. The doors take a minute to open up. I was wondering, do they open? So here we go. Here's the kind of a garage area storage for equipment or whatsoever. Not huge but usable we got a little man door here and a little man door here I haven't found any lights so I would imagine it's quite dark at night just to be aware of that this is the entrance to where your cows are now, I have put some food in here but I wanted to leave it to show you a few things before we uh, go through to the next level of testing. So uh, this door is actually... So your feed goes here. Your straw goes in here, although it didn't doesn't show that. And I will show you that in a moment. Uh, this side also opens, however... Oh, manure. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about manure. We're going to place down... A uh, manure point thing right over here, like so, and to capture any manure that is produced with 16 cows. I don't imagine there'd be quite a lot, if any, what well, not, if any, that uh, there will be. I expect some to be produced. I don't know how much. Now, this is uh, this ladder was very easy to get up, so that's nice. Those doors open, and we have a loft, a storage. So I've thrown some bales up here. I, I, I would assume that this would be a loft for bales. Uh, you can carry them up there yourself, or this door opens. And with a telehandler, or a front loader, I think a front loader might be tall enough. Uh, you can throw the bales up here and put them around here. And then you have these uh, hatches that you can open and close. Come on, open it up. Uh, where you would uh, say, okay, well, they need some... Let's say we got some grass bale. We throw that down there and poof, yes. Yes, that works. And over here, does it work on this side? No. Um, so this actually, there we go. There's the trigger there. So this side, well, I'll show you the straw. Because the straw doesn't... I was like, where does the straw go? Not here, not here. And then when I did this, there. So that is an ill-placed <laughs> um, drop 
because uh, you're going to have it should be over top of the where the straw goes. That's first thing I noticed. Um, so yeah, straw goes in there. Uh, you could also, if you had a very tiny trailer like that, it would go here. So you could uh, dump your straw in there. Now this is basically this is the uh, the teeny tiny trailer and a teeny tiny tractor and this is about all you can get in here let's see if these will go away yeah look at that okay well that's cool the trigger is high enough that the bales uh, go away I tried uh, this trailer it fit in there however there wasn't enough room to tip it even the side tip it it just freaked out like uh, like trailers do when they're stuck in a spot where it's like all jittery and everything so uh, as for capacities um, we're almost at the uh, we're, we're I'm gonna I'm gonna cut away and um, fill the rest of it up with the food and um, straw so water is automatically supplied so you don't need to add water and then we're gonna come back I'll show you the capacities for the straw and food and then we're gonna see um, and then we're going to go ahead and see what the capacities for the milk and slurry are. Because this one actually has a slurry uh, uh, capacity that shows. Right, so we'll be back in a bit. Okay, so we're back. I managed to stuff some big bales in here because it's taken me forever to fill it up. 25,000 liters doesn't sound like a much, but when you're filling it 1,600 liters at a time... Um, it takes a bit, so I got some of these big bales and stuffed them in there. That'll be good for a while. Uh, and you can do that. You can throw a bale in there, and it'll just slowly take bales from it eventually as it needs. So kind of a good way to supplement your um, capacity. Also, there is another way to increase capacity of straw uh, on a... Um, any barn uh, if you want to watch my video on how to increase capacity of straw and water on uh, animal barns that would be in my tips um, shortcuts video um, section uh, anyways on to this now so here we got straw and 12,000 liters of uh, hay grass and TMR and we're going to go ahead until we see um, see what our capacities for slurry and milk are and um, and then we'll show you how to take it out so we'll see you in a bit so we're back and it's taken in a ridiculously long amount of time to even just to get to 8,000 liters of milk uh, well and mind you I am feeding them them grass and hay not TMR so it is slowing it down a bit, but now we're back up to 100% productivity somehow with grass and hay instead of TMR, which I guess 80 and 40 is 100, right? So, mm, all right. Um, <clears throat> good to know because I've been wasting a lot of time feeding TMR when you could just have grass and hay and it'll give you 100%. What? Um, at least on this one. Uh, so slurry, it looks like there's an enor enormous capacity for slurry uh, just by looking at it. So 100,000 liters, roughly. And uh, the milk, I'm going to say 20,000 liters uh, just by looking, uh, kind of a, doing a uh, kind of a rust, a rust, a rust, a rough guesstimate. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, so now we're going to look at uh, where oh, are we going to take out this product and I probably should have moved this guy out of the way to uh, see how close to this trigger do we need to get to get this uh, milk out and not too difficult and it loads fairly quickly and that is all the milk for the past, I don't know, several days. 
So, let's just go over to the slurry pit. And we'll turn around. Oh, wait a minute. It just popped up right away. We didn't even have to get very close at all. Um, there it is right there. Very nice. That is nice. Now, uh, one kind of odd thing. Notice uh, we get uh, information, field information, 12,500 liters of slurry. This barn has no field information. It won't tell me what's in there, won't tell me how many cows, doesn't tell me how many anything, no information whatsoever. Look at this. Yeah, hey, I got milk in there. Yeah. We've, we've gotten used to that um, information on the bottom corner and nothing, 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 nothing. Uh, even the tractor, it says there's uh, 623 liters of diesel in there. And I got milk. Oh, no, that's slurry. Uh, no information. So, a little bit odd, but that is... Um, that is our plastered cow shed uh, by... Oh, $20 per day uh, maintenance fee by uh, Gratz, Gratzus and Philip. Or Gratzus Philip. Backslash. Uh, 18.95 megabytes to download, 33 uh, slots on console. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So, till next time, bye for now.